Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We're at the location of the first train robbery in the West committed by the notorious Jesse James and his gang of outlaws, July 21st, 1873. But of course, what we are here to talk about is this hot rod motorcycle. This is a 2018 Triumph Tiger XCA, 800cc, 94 horsepower, about uh, 58, 59 foot-pounds of torque. That's about 80 newton meters. Three-cylinder inline, liquid-cooled. Check out that radiator right there. I don't really have a lot of information on it. I just got this tonight. Uh, it was unexpected. And so I'm gonna just kind of give you the rough story so far. Just a good-looking bike. Uh, front end has got a 21-inch tire on it, on spokes. 305 millimeter Brembo brakes. Looks like uh, two piston calipers on each side. Full floating disc. Inverted uh, forks. I think those are supposed to be 43 millimeter. This bike has fog lights. Looks like an aftermarket uh, windscreen on there. Wind protection was awesome, by the way. It's got a 255 Nissan. Looks like a single caliper on the back. ABS front and back, by the way. The wheel size back here is a 150 70 17. Yeah, that's a pretty good sized tire, isn't it? I think that's a, what did it say? Metzler Torrance tire. Very good tire, actually. It's got a monoshock. This says WP here. I'm assuming that's part of the monoshock system. Six-speed transmission. Look at that. Isn't that neat? You know, as always with Triumph, everything is top quality. Even that kickstand. Got a little foot on the kickstand there. Just really well done. Hand guards. The forks, by the way, are adjustable. And it's really got quite a ride. I'm very impressed with the ride so far. Just absolutely impressed with it. Jumping over here, it's got a luggage plate. I think this is a stock exhaust. Makes it kind of a pleasant sound with my three-quarter helmet. With my full helmet, it was kind of a buzzy sound. Kind of an interesting thing. Nice taillight. Looks like they've got rocks risers. The bars are up higher. And then, of course, aftermarket mirrors. Uh, ram mount for your phone. Heated grips. Adjustable clutch lever. I'm assuming the brake lever is the same way. Yes, it is. High lows over here. Heated seat. Hey, that's... Check it out. Heated seat. These are for these little lights here. I had those on earlier. That was kind of cool. Cruise control. I love the cruise control. It's, you know, it's got the whole, the real deal set. You can go up and down. It shows up on the dash. It's, it's just nifty. I, I just, I'm in love with the cruise control. Okay. <laughs> Mode button, excellent blinkers. They must be on a timer though, because they shut off after a while. Horn. And then this is the joystick for the, for this thing here. We'll turn that on here in a second. Jumping over here, kill switch, run switch, start switch. It's all on a rocker, home button. And up here's the hazard lights. Fly by wire, it's got uh, several riding modes, and I'm not sure what they all are yet because I haven't, like I said, I just got this bike. Also, it looks like this goes up and down. It looks like it's in the low position right now. I'm gonna kind of leave it there for now. I'm gonna learn more about it. Okay, let's turn that on. Um, if you look down here, there's a outlet for uh, like heated gear. Sometimes I'll have that on the rear also. Tail light right there. Uh, back up here. ABS light, oil light. Hey, engine light. Tachometer over here, speedometer. It's got an actual temperature gauge right there, and I think that's kind of cool. And I think that's, you know, ambient air. And this stuff down here, you can change that with this joystick. But like I said, I just picked this bike up, so I'll find out more about that, and we'll get back to that later. Five-gallon gas tank, I think that's about 19 liters. The weight on this motorcycle is, let me think about this. I think it was 503 or 508 pounds, which would make that, what, uh, 240 kilos maybe? Very nice though, very nice. I've just had a ball riding it. And, and by the way, the trim protection is legendary and I have been enjoying that tonight. I drove through a uh, stretch where there were just thousands of dragonflies and uh, I did get hit by one, but uh, the bike got a couple uh, right there, just a few spots. I, we're supposed to have rain tomorrow. Um, I might take this out in the rain and just see what happens. Seat height is between 33 and 34 inches, 840 to 865 millimeters maybe. These are my Royal Enfield Alpine Star gloves. Forgive me, Triumph. <laughs> the bike does come with a center stand. Look at that chain on the back. It's just, it's just a really neat thing. I also wonder if that's an aftermarket radiator guard down there. You know, it's pretty neat. Hey, hey, there's some of those dragonflies I was talking about. But look at that, isn't that, isn't that just, wow. You know, really, really neat thing. I've got this for uh, several days. We're gonna try to put, uh, five, six, seven hundred miles on it, something like that. So we're gonna learn a lot about this bike. Uh, thank you Baxter Cycle for lending it to us. And something I always mean to say, I appreciate everybody that watches this channel. And I, you know, if I could give you all a thumbs up, I'd give you a thumbs up. <laughs> Comment below and tell me what you wanna see on the channel. Hey, life is good. Get out there and ride my friends. Wahoo.